What's happening over there? It's nearly time. I'm glad you could make it. Are you with us? Queen Sphine has come to see you. Here, Namika. Everything is going to be all right. Oh, oh. What's the matter, dear? It can't be. the bangle I gave to Namika. You know her? Of course I know her. She was like a mother to me. I see. She was always willing to lend a kindly ear to others, but rarely did she ever speak of herself. Is it... Is it really you? She must have arrived shortly before the barrier manifested. For us it was perhaps days, but for her... Namika, it's me! Wuklamat! I'm afraid her time with us is nearly at an end. Has she no more soul cells? She always used hers sparingly, but at her age, it wouldn't make a difference. Ma'am, the ushers have arrived. Thank you, Namika, for your many years of friendship. Take comfort in the knowledge that this is not the end. Be not afraid. Your memory will live on in us. Living on in memory? The giants share a similar belief. Wait, where are you taking her? Worry not. She is being escorted to a medical facility in the tower. There we will ease her burden. I had hoped to make arrangements for her sooner, but she wished to remain here for as long as possible. I could not bring myself to refuse her. Is there any way I might stay with her for a little while longer? We may not share the same blood, but she was my mother. Peace. Let us give them some time alone.
She didn't speak, but I'm grateful that I could be with her at the end. Thank you. It's not the end. Hmm? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking that we have much to discuss. Where shall we begin? With what we can be reasonably certain of, perhaps. Between what we have witnessed and the testimony of Alexandria's inhabitants, it's safe to say that two distinct lands have indeed become one. What's more, having met Namika, there is no denying the divergence in the passage of time. Taken together, these phenomena strongly suggest that some manner of cross-rift displacement has occurred. Specifically, the displacement of Alexandria from another reflection to the source. It does seem the most likely explanation. What perplexes me, however, is the scale of said displacement. It far exceeds what could conceivably be achieved with a Void Gate, or even with the Crystal Tower. In essence, we are dealing with a localized instance of dimensional compression. The Asians would no doubt liken it to a rejoining. Which invites the question, how was such a feat accomplished? I wish that I had an answer for you, but this talk of reflections and dimensions is well beyond my understanding. I can only tell you that we lived peacefully under the barrier's protection for many, many years. Until the day that peace was suddenly broken. If I may clarify, the barrier predates Alexandria's displacement. By several hundred years, yes. To when the continent we call home was ravaged by a devastating cataclysm. The barrier was erected to isolate us from the surrounding land's innocuous influence. I see. And it was only later that it was whisked away, along with its contents by means unknown. In other words, Steen's as lost as the rest of us, right? The Alexandrians didn't mean to end up in Tural. Ah, but of course, our next stop ought to be Everkeep. That tower over yonder. Once you have been registered as my guests, you will have access to Solution 9 and its residential district, where you will doubtless gain invaluable insight into Alexandria's state of affairs. Unfortunately, I cannot take you directly to where Zoralja resides. That you'd let us in it all goes a long way toward proving you're not content to let Zoralja do as he pleases. But we're not talking about a simple difference of opinion here. I've come to avenge my father. And to do so, I intend to take Zoroja's life. Are you willing to stand by and allow Alexandria's king to be slain? A fair question. Permit me to answer it thus. My people come first. Their welfare is paramount. I will do everything in my power to keep them from harm. It is a ruler's duty. to register you at Everkeep. It may take some time, but you shall find the entrance open to you in due course. Oh, 
Oh, and ere I forget, your mother, Kafkiwa, you might try the Thunder Yards to the east. The Thunder Yards? Is that where she is? I am afraid I can say no more than that. Make for the Thunder Yards, and all will be made clear. It's not as if we have other pressing business. Not until we can get into this Everkeep, anyway. Thank you for earlier, and for being a friend to Namika these past 30 years. It means a lot to me. Namika? I'm sorry, but I don't know who you mean. just with her. If this is some sort of a joke, it isn't funny. I don't mean to give offense, but I honestly have no idea who you are talking about. I'm sorry. How can you not know who she is? You're in charge here. She was under your care. Then in all likelihood, my memories of her have been stored in the cloud. Any person seemingly forgotten without reason is probably there, in the cloud. Oh, I really must be getting back to work, if you'll excuse me.
Ironville. My darling, what now? anywhere. Mother? Wait, wait, wait. Since when was your mother a weird floating thing? And what have we here? Say, aren't you Galoo Jaja's kid? I knew I recognized that adorable fuzzy face. <laughs> Nespier was always so excited whenever you invited him over to play. You remember me, I hope. I can't say that I do, but you know my father? <sighs> Appearances notwithstanding, it would seem this is my mother, Kafkiwa. starting to get a handle on this place. How are things still getting stranger? <laughs> <laughs> 